Yeah, interesting tactic. I mean, here you are, the smart federal prosecutor trying to take down a mob boss, and me, the detective who brought you said mob boss on a silver platter, and you're questioning me like, like I'm, a, I'm a bad guy, not your star witness. You're unpredictable. I need assurances. And why are you so hostile? Why are you so defensive? Look, we can do this all day. No, you know? we really don't have to. Just don't put your hand on the Bible and then lie for your father. No, that would be a mortal sin. Oh, we are mortal, aren't we? Look, if you're so worried about me, why don't you just scratch me off your witness list? You want me to cut you loose from this case? I'm just following your lead. You question my integrity. I'm giving you an out. You risked it all to take down a major crime figure. And surprise, he's your father. Who shot you in the chest, by the way. You know, it sort of gives a whole new meaning to family reunions, and that's all, you know, really very touching. But I am not going to let you throw away everything you worked for to get your daddy's approval. You know what? You seem savvy enough to score a conviction without me taking the stand, so... If I'm so damn unreliable, why don't you save both of us the aggravation and just unload me? You know, Detective, I think I'm more inclined to list you as a hostile witness. That would be a huge mistake. If you're serious about beating Sonny, you need to understand who's on your side, starting with Dante. Lulu, stay out of this. If a federal prosecutor wants to treat me as a no, hostile witness... No, 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 hold on, hold on. It looks like Miss Spencer wants to come to your defense. No, Dante doesn't need me to defend him. Look, I, I, I can tell you have a very high opinion of yourself, Miss federal prosecutor, but you're flying blind. You don't know these people like I do. Every single one of them has an agenda. They either want to bury Sonny or protect him, and Dante's the only one who's going to tell you the truth. Well, what about you? What's your agenda? I just want justice. I want the truth to come out, and I want the jury to come up with a verdict. Bravo. Very, very moving. I think I can find a way to put you on the stand, and everyone can have their 15 minutes. But I imagine it's going to take a little bit longer for you, detective, to testify. Please don't disappoint me. Well, if there's someone who's going to be able to take down Sunny, I think she's it. She's a shark. Exactly. You seem exhausted. Oh, okay. No, really? Okay, then maybe you should sit back down, because I have some questions for you, too. Do you swear <laughs> to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but so help you? Are you giving me another lie detector test? Hey, does? I am asking the questions okay, here. Okay, fine. The ball is in your court. I do. Okay. How did you feel when the judge said he wouldn't revoke Sonny's bail? Well, I don't second-guess a judge. Are you worried about having to testify? It's my job. Are you going to blame yourself if Sonny's convicted and put in prison? You know, the witness requests uh, a new line of questioning as we <laughs> plead the fifth. On <gasps> okay, fine, fine. Uh, okay. Has the witness ever been in love? <laughs> Whoa, I object. Hey, answer the question. Well, that's definitely changing the subject. You want me to find you in contempt? Okay. Fine. Uh, have I ever been in love? Yes. Once. Oh. <laughs> uh, why didn't you tell me this before? I'm pretty sure I told no, you. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't. That's something I would remember. Uh, okay, so what happened? Who was she? She burned you. Do you still think about her? Oh, yeah, I think about her all the time. Day in, day out, it's relentless, really. Even here, right now, in this courtroom. Ah, okay. The prosecution only has two questions, then. Uh, this woman that you claim to love, is she somewhere in this courtroom right now? You know, I believe she is. Yeah? Can you, uh, identify her? Um, I think she's... <laughs> had to walk up all those stairs. Uh, I'm okay. Well, can I get you something? Maybe some juice or I could see if Mike has some soup that I could heat up or something. What's up? Yeah. The last time I was in here, I was getting dressed to go to the christening. Ties. That was the only thing I had to worry about. Now I have, uh... 
father and a bullet hole in my chest. It's a lot to deal with. You don't have to pretend that you're not on overload. Sonny's on trial to be put away for ever. My mother, I mean, I don't even know what to make of her. I mean, I've known her my whole life, but it's like she's a stranger to me. The well, last thing I want you to feel is smothered. So you just gotta promise me that if it gets to be too much, you will tell me and you'll let me help you. Now, when I left this room, I had a, a life that I knew. I mean, the only thing that hasn't changed is how I feel about you. Actually, I, I think I love you more than I did before. just released you though and, and and they warned you about overdoing it oh, New York. I'm trying to keep you alive you know I, I made myself a promise after I got out of that place I said I would take you somewhere where it was just you and me and we make up for lost time and I could show you exactly how I feel about you <laughs> unless you don't want... Dante I want to rip your clothes off I just if you have a heart attack from the strain, I'm gonna be really traumatized. Okay, look, I'm gonna have a heart attack if we don't do it. How about this? How about, how about we just take it really slow? Mm. And really easy. I like that. You know? Agreed that you would sit back and relax and I would do all the work. You have to let me know at the first sign of cardiac arrest. <laughs> God, this is so stupid. I'm nervous. <laughs> I mean, it's like a good kind of nervous, but still, it's just. I don't know, maybe it's because it's more than just sex to me. It's the first time we're getting together and I can finally show you how I feel. And I'm not the same. Loving you has changed me too. Guess my mind. 